in the ring and we'll have the opportunity to see wildfire Tommy Rich and Eddie Gilbert going at it uh, against their opponents in just a moment. And here they come in here. They got a match coming up with Bill Hickerson and with his partner the spoiler that I got to tell you is going to be a rugged one. Now the last one I have never seen anybody get on them like you got on those uh, guys the last time you met. Excuse me, Lance. You know, I'd just like, I'd, I'd like to say something. You know, past week, couple of weeks, I've watched Phil Hickson and the spoiler. You know, they slapped Doug. And, uh, you know, today, you know, I mean, everybody's got to start wrestling somewhere is what it amounts to. You know, and what they just did to these two guys, I mean, Jameson and Robinson, they're both young guys. They're just starting. You know, and I was there one time myself. Right here, Eddie and myself both started wrestling here. And I got my tail whipped a bunch of times. But, you know, I I don't think that I ever seen nothing like what them two guys just did to them two kids, you know. I mean, not only did they, I mean, they could have beat them four or five times, right. and then they took and just you embarrassed and humiliated the guys. You know, and, and I can think back, you know, it's been a while back since Tommy Rich first started wrestling, but I can think way back. You know, and the guys that took me in the ring and just wrestled me and beat me, I learned from that. You know, and I can't remember a lot of their names. But the names that I do remember is guys like Hickerson and the Spoiler that took me and did the same thing. They took me down, rubbed my face in the match, you know, embarrassed and hu yeah. humiliated me. Well, Hickerson, I want to tell you something. I want to tell the Spoiler something. You know, these two guys, it might be, you know, this, another hundred matches. Maybe they can come back and whip your tails. But Eddie and myself, and I want, I want Jameson and I want Robinson both Monday night. I want y'all to come down to Memphis because we're going to do it for y'all too, brother. Because just like I said, it might be a year, and I know if you got the heart and the desire that y'all will come back and y'all take care of these boys for what they did to you. But what I'm saying is they need to be taken care of right now, Lance. And Eddie and myself, we've got experience. He's been to New York. I've been to Atlanta, all over the country. And we come home because Jackie Fargo asked us to, and we want to see our people and be with people that we knew. And we ain't going to let nobody like Hickerson, the spoiler, or anybody else take some young kids like that and abuse them and embarrass them in front of all these people. So Jameson, Robinson, you get your two front row seats. I'll get you two front row seats. Eddie will get you two front row seats. But what I'm saying is, Hickerson, when that bell rings, after what y'all did to them, we ain't coming to beat you. We're going to come to hurt you. We're going to get you down. And we're going to take, and just like you did them boys, kick them out of the studio. We're going to beat you down so bad, and then we're going to start kicking. And we're going to kick you all the way back to the dressing room door, and then you're going to know exactly how it feels. Monday night, Hickerson, it's a promise, brother. I love it after what I saw in there today. Really. That's right, Lance. You know, I just have a, kind of one comment on all this, and that is, you know, i got a younger brother I'm very, very proud of, and I made him a promise. And I know I'm kind of going out on a limb, but I feel like if I make this promise public, that I'll live up to it and I'll do it. And what this promise is, is that, well, I was talking to Doug yesterday, and, and we were talking, I said, Doug, Tommy and I can't promise you that we can beat Hickerson the spoiler and that we can pin him for a one, two, three. But what I can promise you, and I'll promise these people, everybody in this area, you, Lance, everybody, is that, Phil Hickerson, you're going to go to the hospital courtesy of Tommy Rich and myself. And also, I know that, you know, I, I'm not going to quit trying during any kind of match. And before it's over, before I'll ever quit, before I'll ever say die, you're going to have to carry me out of the ring on a stretcher. You're going to have to break an arm or break a leg and put me out of wrestling. It's going to be one of us. One of us is going first, and it's not going to be me or Tommy Rich. Okay, well, good luck to you guys in there. It's a Thank mean, much, mean man. match, and I'll tell you, I think... I've never seen the crowd more sympathetic with a chore of going out there and beating some tail on Phil Hickerson and the spoiler in there after what they did today. Well, I think everybody knows and seen a bully before, Lance, and that's what it amounts to. Hickerson spoiler, they're picking their shots, coming out, beating up people that, you know, that ain't got a chance. But we're going to get rid of some bullies around here. Want to see you in the ring right now. Okay, Dave. Tommy Rich, Eddie Gilbert stepping up onto the ring apron, into the ring. As soon as their opponents step up there, we will be set to go with another match. One fall, 15-minute time limit this one's going to be. And introducing at a total weight of 450. Ladies Mud Wrestling with a special referee. That is all. How you doing, Phil brother? Hickerson. Phil, look. Glad to see me, aren't you? How you doing? Just no. go right ahead, go right ahead. You're looking good, man. Here. I'll come out here and give you a little bit of class out here. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't let me bother. Try to take care of a little business here, All right, Phil. 
Where we at? Championship wrestling coming up tonight in Jackson, Tennessee. <laughs> Jackson, Tennessee. I live there, man. I hate that town. It's tomorrow night. I too, live though. there. You know what? I live tomorrow there. night in Jackson, Tennessee. Go ahead, boy. Go ahead. Eight o'clock is wrestling time. Box office is going to be open at noon tomorrow. You can get your tickets today at Midcon at Hi-Fi. Super Jackson card. It's tomorrow night, eight o'clock. Seven That's matches right. on the card. That's New right. generation will be there. Lawler, Dutch Mantel. Rich and Gilbert, Austin Idol, all tomorrow night in Jackson, Tennessee. Friday night, June 15th, Paris, Tennessee at Henry County Where? High School. Tickets are on sale right now. You see the folks that are going to be there, including the new generation. That's Friday the 15th in Paris, Tennessee at Henry County really High School. Job. Sunday the 17th, Jonesboro, Arkansas. It'll be at 8 o'clock. Big, big Father's Day special. Jones Father's Day Arkansas. special in Jonesboro. That's Sunday the yeah, 17th. Right the Rich and Gilbert there. will be there. New Generation 2 yeah, box office will be open that day at yeah. 12 noon. Friday the 22nd, New Albany, Mississippi at West Union County High School. On Tuesday, June 26th, Championship Wrestling will be in Tresman, Tennessee at the high school. Friday, July 6th in Senatobia, Mississippi at Northwest Junior College. Huntington, Tennessee on Sunday, July 8th. It'll be at the Civic Center. And on Friday, July 13th, Championship Wrestling will be down at Delta State in Delta Cleveland, State. Mississippi. Delta Don't State. forget, yeah, tomorrow yeah. night, 8 o'clock, big card up in Jackson, Tell Tennessee. Hometown, man. Tell right, Phil, that's, Jackson. that's your hometown. Phil Hickerson and the well, spoiler. Right? Know that, son. That's me. I'll answer anything, any question that you want. I'll answer it today. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Ask me, ask I, me. I would like to know if we can just continue here, if you guys would just go on back Wait, to the man, dressing area. Don't you, en you enjoy our company? Not hey, particularly, man, we no. Here and we're upgrading this. Look here, man. Look at this suit. Look here, man. Look at all this. Hey, we look good. You just sit there and keep doing that. Don't ever try to put no tights on it. You're going to be safe as long as you're sitting here with me. As long as you're here, let's talk about a match you've got coming up. Talk, brother. Coming up Monday I'm night with ears. Tommy, I'm all ears, brother. Tommy Rich and Eddie Gilbert got a score to settle with you two. <laughs> They're going to get you in a... up. What do you What do you see on Sunday morning, right? All Roberts, Jim Baker, Ernest, what's his name? Angie, what, 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 Angie? Ernest, some, some awful. Some preacher. Uh, some preacher. All that preaching going on on Sunday. And now you got Rich and you got Gilbert. All of them come out here and preaching. I heard them standing out here preaching a while ago. I felt the movement. I don't know if it was in my heart or down here in my stomach, but I felt the movement. Yeah. <laughs> I felt the movement, brother. But let me tell you something. They standing out here and they say that they're going to humiliate and they're going to kick. Let me ask you one question, and I want you to look me right in the eye there, Dave Brown, and don't you dare tell all these people a lie. Who won that match at Memphis Monday night? I'll tell you. Who won the match? I'll tell you who won the who match. Who won the match? The match Name was... the two people that won the match, and no more. Who won the match? But you won it on disqualification. Who won the match? You won the match. Who? Box. Who? I didn't say it, young who? On disqualification. Say the name. Say the name. Bill Hickerson and the spoiler <laughs> by... That's Dis it. That's it, brother. That's it. Hickerson and spoiler won the match. That's it. That's a final. Now, they come out here and they want to do all this preaching. Well, let them fall in there with Jim Baker and Oral Roberts, brother, because I don't want to hear the preaching. I don't want to hear it. Brother, you're looking at the greatest tag team that ever happened. A lot of people talked about Hickerson and Condry, but, brother, they're going to be talking about this man and myself. This is it. We're not going to beat anybody anymore. We are going to hurt. Hurt, that's the name of the game. We're going to hurt every time we get in the ring, we're going to hurt somebody. Now, unfortunately, it's going to be, you know where Doug is? I might want him out of my picture taken. You know where he is? Let's see if he's out here somewhere. Oh, my picture taken, man. Bring him out here and have him take my picture. I Come don't on. think he's here, but I think, <laughs> I think you're going to find the Let level of competition. Let me tell you something. You're talking about Monday night, brother. Rich and Gilbert, you can stand out here and you can preach to all these rednecks and geeks and pig farmers. And they don't, hey, they're idiots, they're idiots. But the fact, a fact, brother, we won the match. All the people know that we won the match. It, the, Monday night, they're just going to see the same old song, the second verse. Some blood. And a whole lot worse, brother. You think you took a beat Monday night? You stepped out there Monday, brother, and we're going to beat your brains in. Now, ask me no more questions. Would you like to have a picture of us before we leave? I don't think so, Phil. I'd like to take a think break I right talk to you anymore. We'll be back with more championship wrestling in just a moment.
Yeah, I was sitting here. Sure. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about the comment I made just before I went away in there, and I had said to somebody, a wrestling fan during the week, hey, uh, we got an interesting kind of a profile on a Rick Rude coming up, and they said, how could anything about a Rick Rude be interesting? Well, I don't really go along with that. There are some uh, obnoxious things about Rick, yeah. but... Uh, what is going to be, according to some people, uh, the match of the year is coming up when Rick Rude goes against Jerry the King Lawler. Uh, I want you to take a look and get a little more opinion about Rick Rude. Let's look. You're implying that I do things on purpose to make people hate me. Well, I think uh, it's very plain to see that uh, I am a rather beautiful person. Uh, and it doesn't stop right there. I mean, it's not just pretty face, it's pretty body, it's pretty mind, it's everything's together. And when you have all these qualities, it's, it's just natural for people to dislike you. It's something that was born and bred in each one of them. It's called jealousy. Rude telling Angel to clean up his boots before he starts the... The, the fellas already signed it. And he's over here telling Angel clean the boots. And she doesn't particularly take to the role of being a shoeshine girl right at the moment. Rude, really an overbearing obnoxious individual. I gotta just tell you that. I don't have to tell you that. You know it. I really don't uh, like to even think about this women lib stuff, let alone talk about it. But I suppose I can make an exception. Uh, as, as far as I'm concerned, every woman has her place. Uh, and, it, and if you notice, Angel is sitting here at my feet right now. I'm not saying that uh, 
they should be treated as, as pets or anything like that. Not at all. They are humans, and they do deserve a little bit of respect. But as far as equality, bring the woman in the ring, put the gloves on her, and as soon as the first punch is landed, it's plain to see there is no equality. Now, you know, m maybe Angel has a little bit to say on this subject. Angel, what do you think about this? I, I, I think you're absolutely right. Uh, you're stronger than any woman. Well, there you have it. He is the best looking man in professional wrestling. You know, starting today, we're going to start calling him the Clark Gable of professional wrestling. Rick Rude, and don't forget about the lovely, vivacious angel. But this is the superstar of the future, baby. Look at the body. Can you even get this body on the screen? Now, I'm going to take this man to the ring and show you exactly what we're fixing to do, baby. Jimmy, what do you I know think, I have all the Come confidence on, in the world that you will do something. Man. We're going to stir things up a little bit. There's no... I could only think of one thing that a woman could probably do better than a man, and that's because it has to be that way, and that's uh, bearing children. Otherwise, you've just got to be kidding me. Uh, say about the whole thing, he just, as usual, whatever you want hard to be, that's what he's going to be. He's got somebody that's making him a little money. And rude. What do you mean, woman beater? Listen, when you look like I do, and when you have my physical capabilities, woman beating, it's, it's not only not needed, but it would be an impossibility. Now, take a look at Angel here, one of the most beautiful women you'll ever see. And take a look at myself, one of the most powerful men no, the most powerful man you'll ever meet. Now, if I were to lay a hand on this gal, if I were to beat this woman, there'd be no plastic surgeon in the world who could change, <laughs> who could change what I've done. And obviously, she hasn't been beaten. She's obviously looking, well, She's looking good enough to be by my side right now, and I'd say that's just about uh, as good as possible. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hey, wait a minute. Hey, 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 wait, hey, come whoa, on, Dutch, this interview out here, Angel. Wait a minute. I'm talking with Dutch. What? I need to talk to you. What? I need to talk to wait you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope. Hey, hey, come on now. We don't, we, we had enough problem out here with Rude and everything. I have a lot of things on my mind. It's coming straight from my heart, and I want you to, I need you desperately to hear me out, okay? Dude, yeah. What? I need you to hear me Wait out. Wait a minute. No, no. You stay over there, darling. I'll stay right here, okay? Okay. I know you're a little leery of me. I've called you little hassles in the past. Yeah, like hitting listen, with look into my you. eyes. Look into my eyes. See the honesty? See it? Oh. Come on. I'm being honest with you. Wait a minute now. I'm just serious. Right, really. what, do you want, what do you want me for? Listen. Get, get your hands off of me, Angel. Please. I've heard what you've said about Rick, and it's all true. He's a mean, cruel, ruthless man. It doesn't stop. You. It doesn't stop with you wrestlers. You hear this? the same way towards me. He shows no mercy on me, Dutch. No. no. At the end of our match today, he hey, was that's shaking your, me. That's your problem, Angel. That's not my problem. That's Listen, true. He, he almost threw me out of the ring. He wouldn't have cared if he broke my bones. I'm scared. I'm shaking in my shoes. He's got me living in fear, and I'm tired of it. And what do you want me to do about it? I've got a proposition for you. Dutch, I need you. I need you desperately, like I've never needed anyone. Listen, you don't need me, no. Listen, you're masculine, you're courageous, and you're just what I need to protect me from this monster. I need you, Dutch. I really no, do. Uh, Please, have some uh, compassion for me. I'm not sure Dutch is going for all of this right now. I'm Angel. What are you doing? Hey, come on now. What I'm a... trying to tell you, I need you. Won't you have a little compassion? Gee. <laughs> Hey, come on now. Oh, oh, oh. Would you come out here and... Easier than we thought, fool. Oh. All right, hey, Rude, come on. Get out. You're asking for an example of my superiority other than physical? Well, let me think about that. What about Dutch Mandel? Shut up. Yeah, how about Dutch Mantel? 
Now here's a man who's obviously ugly. And it's obvious that he's used to hanging around with ugly people. Now I knew that if I were to send Angel out and have a few words with him, that he'd be so mesmerized that he wouldn't know what to do with himself. And it was easy enough for me just to walk right on in and put Dutch Mantel where him and all the ugly people in the world belong in the trash. What makes me think I can win the Southern Heavyweight title? when Kamala and Bundy and so many like them have failed. Well, who writes these stupid questions anyway? I can't believe these questions. Let me tell you something. I sit back and I watch on a TV how Jerry the King Lawler stands out there and talks about how fat King Kong Bundy is. And how fat is King Kong Bundy? You know, I want to tell you how fat he is. King Kong Bundy is so fat, I'll never forget the days he was born. March 17th, 18th, and 19th. He was fat. He was a fat baby. Let me tell you about King Kong Bundy. He was so fat when he was a little kid, he had to mump for three weeks before anybody realized it. Do you know how fat Bundy is? Hey, he was so fat when he was a kid, his parents wouldn't let him go swimming. They were afraid he'd get harpooned. Now that's fat, Lance. Now that's fat. I want to tell you how fat that Bundy is, brother. He couldn't go swimming, but the beach was his favorite place. You know why? People used to pay him to sit in the shade. That's how fat King Kong Bundy is. I want to tell you, he's fat. He gets fan mail from elephants. Let me tell you something, Bundy. I know how to beat you. I knock you down, and you're so fat, you'll rock yourself to sleep trying to get up. Bundy sticks his head through to pull Lawler's hair, and Lawler Christens him with that chair, hops on one, two, three, and that's it. How fat and stupid Kamala is. Well, Jerry Lawler, despite all his physical incapabilities, he has a little bit upstairs, see? He knows that he doesn't have any problem with these big, fat, out-of-shape idiots. Take a look at me. I'm a physical specimen. I'm an athlete. I'm a thinking athlete. Jerry Lawler has tried his best to stay as far away from me as he can. And in time, when I get him in the ring, it's going to be obvious to even the stupidest hillbilly out there that I am, that I am a supreme athlete and far above any other wrestler in the world today. Rude going after Mantel, throws Dutch into the ropes, and now he grabs Evelyn Stevens. Well, as you know, I've done a lot of wrestling down south here, and all over the country for that matter, and each place has its uh, good and bad points. I've done quite a bit of wrestling in the Florida area, and it was hot and muggy. There were a lot of sand fleas, a lot of drawbacks. But then, you know, there were a few good points. You had your beaches, and it was nice to get out once in a while and lounge around on the beach and sign a few autographs and let people take a look. Uh, I've wrestled in the Louisiana area. Oh, what, a, what a desolate, barren wasteland that is. Just nothing but swamp. And... Uh, it was it was it was real hard there, you know, nothing to look at, no scenery like I'm used to in Beverly Hills. But then there was New Orleans and and that was a good party town. Whenever I'd uh, wrestle in New Orleans, I'd fly some friends down from Beverly Hills and we'd get together and party there and and uh, that kind of made up a little bit for it. And now I find myself here in the mid south and well to tell you the truth the only good thing I can say about this is that I'll be able to leave as soon as I win that Southern heavyweight title. Again, a reminder, uh, I'm just looking over the guest, Dave and I were talking about that, um the King's going to have tomorrow, 1 o'clock on TV5 in there. Say, 
Speaking of that, I also would like to remind you that uh, you can pick up the action Tuesday night. Well, first Monday night, uh, Big Jack always has the results of the wrestling there on uh, Action News 5. And, and then Tuesday has some highlight uh, features on the early news. Uh, so if you want to step with the wrestling action, be sure and watch Jack on Action 5. Uh, your job has got to have been easier the last few days because the, the forecast... Has a seen, yeah, it seems to be kind of repetitious. Yeah, we tried to, to move some rain in here, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, it's, it's been kind of warm, humid, and well, windy. Well, I'll tell you one thing it has been is windy. Yeah. Why the wind every day? Uh, the weather says the way they are, we're right in between the way weather systems are, so we're getting those strong southern winds coming up here, and uh, that'll was, change. I was out at North Lake uh, fishing yesterday, caught a bunch, too, by the way, but that wind is wheeling in out of the south, just yeah, 14, 15 it. miles an hour. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I want to tell you what. Jack will tell you about it on Monday night at 10 o'clock. I want to tell you right now about the action coming up. Down at the Mid-South Coliseum, bell time, 8 o'clock. Yowza, and you're going to have an opportunity to see some big matches. And I'll tell you, we've talked about some of them today, and I just love the pairings on them. Let's go to the opening bout. You're going to have Scott Shannon going against Nightmare Number 1. That'll be a whale of a good opener. Then Rick McCord going against the Oriental Connection. Dutch Mantel will be facing Pork Chop Cash, talking about a good single. Boy, there is a Dan Dan Dandy. And then the PYT Express will be facing the New Generation. Now, that's in a straight single match. We're going to be seeing a six-man today with a PYT and uh, uh, the Nightmare Number 1 going against the new generation and Jerry the King Lawler. That's your preview. Today. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, and then you'll have that straight tag match coming up. Will be a no disqualification on this next match. Very important. Austin Idol with Jimmy Hart at ringside. Catch it. No disqualification. Jimmy Hart in the corner going against Jim the Anvil Neidhart, and the spoiler will be in his corner. Following that, well, it's one we're looking forward to. Jerry the King Lawler going against ravishing Rick Rude, and at stake will be the Southern Heavyweight title. The King has a way about uh, bringing into proper perspective some of these outspoken young men like Rick Rude, and that'll be an interesting bout to see, to say the very least. And finally, pure fight, my friend. I'll tell you what. Those of you who missed the action last Monday night at the Coliseum missed one of the wildest bouts. I had a lot of people say, hey, how are the matches, man? How are the matches uh, during the week? And, and, and I said, boy, we had dynamite action. There is no question about it. Rich and Gilbert, Hickerson and Spoiler, automatic fireworks, and <laughs> from the looks of things, if it's possible, even more so than last week, it's going to be blowing the lid off of it with Rich and Gilbert against Hickerson and Spoiler this coming Monday night. Get your tickets up until 5 o'clock today. And, by the way, don't forget, you can get them all day on Monday prior to the matches so that you will have your ticket in advance. Well, if I can get unsprung here, we'll get out of here. And say howdy to the Southern Heavyweight Champ, Mr. Jerry Lawler. I didn't think I was ever going to get out here. I was watching a wrestling show and a weather forecast broke out a while ago. What were you guys doing? <laughs> Just and talking got to, about what and everybody talking about, about fishing. I thought he was going to bring out Bill Dance. What are we doing here today, Lance? What do we want to talk about? I want to talk about Rick Rude. We had an I think extensive we've all... piece on Rick Rude. And Rick Rude. Extensive? I yes. thought Cecil B. DeMille must have produced that. It looked like, uh, you know, it was a long piece. Is that what extensive means? That's what extensive means. I think we've heard enough from Rick Rude. I want today. to hear what you got to say about it. We've heard enough from it, right? Did every did the people out here? Did you people get to see that Rick Rude extravaganza? I'll tell you. Now there, you know, Rick Rude sitting there with Angel sitting at his feet. Because see, Rick Rude, he wanted to, always wanted to have somebody to look up to him, so he has to pal around with a little uh, a short half wit like Angel. You know, she's sitting there, and Rick Rude is saying all this garbage, and she's going. That's right, Rick. I think that's right. Man, I've seen, you know, she got a pretty good body, but brother, that's an airhead if I've ever seen one. Now, let me tell you something, Rick Rude. 
Now you talk about what a great physical specimen you are and how tough and how mean and how big and bad you are. Now he had a pretty good punch. I saw that punch, pretty good punch. As long as it's upside the head of Evelyn Stevens. Yeah. Because that's who we see you knocking down in your tape. Now let me tell you something, Rude. You talk about King Kong Bundy and you talk about Kamala and you talk about how big and how fat and how easy it was for me to beat them and how you are a great physical specimen. Well, Rick Rude, he does. That's a nice body, I'll admit. Spends a lot of time in the gym, but he is the classic example. He is the one that they made the statement about that he's got a million dollar body and a 10 cent brain. Because let me tell you something, Rude. If you think for one minute that you could match up to King Kong Bundy or Kamala or much less me, then you got another thing coming. You're even stupider than I thought. And as a matter of fact, if they took your brain and put it inside a thimble, it'd rattle around like a BB in a boxcar. And when I get you in that ring, Rick Rude, I'm gonna make an example of you. And I might even be able to, I don't know, you know, I don't know how much she's got between her ears, but I might even be able to open Angel's eyes up and let her see you for the joke you really are. Because I'm not only going to give you a beating, I'm going to give you a lesson. I'm going to whip you just like the little punk that you are, the little skinny weasel that you are, Rick Rude, and then I'm going to pin you right in the middle of that ring. And then what I just might do is I might get Angel up in the ring and pull those little shiny tights of yours, Rick Rude, down and spank your bare bottom right there so she can see that you are nothing but a joke. And if you think... If you think for one minute, Rick Rude, that you're ever going to wear this around that skinny little waist of yours, you got another thing coming, brother, because I'm going to show you Monday night why they call me the king. Well, that's the man that's shown a lot of people, and I'll tell you one thing, if Rick Rude thinks he can win it by talking, long thing coming, friend. Action comes up Monday night. You'll want to see it, Lawler and Rude, and the Hickerson spoiler, Rich and Gilbert bout plus all of the other action. Monday night, get your tickets today up until 5 all day on Monday. We'll be back with more action in that big main event six-man tag match. Lawler and the new generation coming out in just a moment. Expiration of time, and producing at a total of 652 pounds from Parts Unknown, the Nightmare. His partners, the PYT Express from Memphis, Tennessee, Norvell Austin from Union City, Tennessee, Coco Ware, and going against him at a total of 678 pounds. The new generation from Lexington, Kentucky, Johnny Wilhoyt. From Charleston, West Virginia, Mark Batten, and the King. Jerry Lawler. That's for the expiration of time. Six-man tag team rules in effect. And the referee is Jerry Calhoun. We the jacket's coming off. Norvell is still to uh, shed his uh, new generation. And Jerry over there all ready to go. It'll be interesting to see this fine young team in there uh, with Lawler over in the corner. Okay, Coco starting out, and we're off and running as he faces Johnny Wilhoyt in this expiration of time main event. Talk about a fine pairing. We've got it right here in this main event on Championship Wrestling today. Boy, a couple of rugged tag teams. You got the PYT and the Nightmare on one side, and the new generation and the king. My goodness. Worth waiting all week for this one. How's that? Uh, Coco missed it. He was taking a shot. The referee getting on him. Will Hoyt. Underneath it. Standing side headlock. Will Hoyt. Rushed into the rope. And it comes off with the uh, shoulder. Nice. Good reversal and hip tossed him right over and down. Coco right back up. 
Nice move by uh, Johnny Wilhoyt. Caught uh, Coco by surprise. Coco was set. And uh, Johnny Wilhoyt came off with a reversal. And nice move. Down to the mat goes Wilhoyt. BYT makes the tag. Norvell Austin comes in. Wilhoyt waiting for it. And Norvell tossed to the mat. He immediately jumps to his feet and said, hey, he must have pulled my hair. Otherwise, he couldn't have done that to me. New generation of Jerry Lawler assuring the referee that uh, uh -uh. he just took him down to the mat. from the corner by Mark Batman's partner and Jerry Lawler as Norvell Austin was bouncing on the mat. There. PYT, a little conference back here. Coco Ware and their partner, the Nightmare, out on the apron. Norvell with a knee lift. Followed with the upper arm, and Coco Bob. Johnny Wilhoyt hits the mat. Norvell makes the tag, and here comes the nightmare. The other member of the new generation, Mark Batten, over in the corner, was reaching for the tag, but couldn't get it. Nightmare drops with the upper arm. Johnny Wilhoyt on the mat. There's a cover count. It's one, two. Two is all he gets. Wilhoyt able to break it. Nightmare with a tag. Coco Ware, forearm across the back. Coco fires Will Hoyt into the ropes. Power slam. Nice move by Coco. He got a cover. One. Count of two. Will Hoyt kicks out of it at the two count. Referee signifies only a count of two. Coco Ware staying on him. Trying to keep Will Hoyt away from the tag, and he has done it. Mark Batten, the other member of the new generation over in the corner, trying to cheer Johnny Will Hoyt on. Meanwhile... Look out, it's almost triple team over here on Will Hoyt in the corner as PYT and the Nightmare all getting into the action. Three minutes gone. Three minutes gone, first fall, expiration of time match. Nightmare with a fist to the midsection. Lawler, Mark Batten, both reaching for the tag. Will Hoyt just can't quite reach him. He was about two feet away from it. Norvell Austin back in now. Big forearm across the back. Pulling the tights, too. Johnny Wilhoit's been in there all the way for his team. Backbreaker across the knee. Norvell to the corner of the tag on Coco Ware. Again, Wilhoit two feet away from the tag. Cannot get to either of his partners for the tag. Coco Ware kicking at Lawler. There they are again, all three of them jumping up and down on Johnny Wilhoit. They got him over close to their corner. And taking full advantage of it as they've been able to keep him away from the tag. Four minutes gone now. It's been Johnny Wilhoit all the way. He kicks the nightmare down to the mat, gets the tag, and here comes the king. Strap is down. Look out. All three of them jump in. And Lawler mowing him down like a lawnmower. He really is working on him, Dave. Nightmare off the ropes. Lawler set him up for Wilhoit. Wilhoit with a cover. Two, three. He got it. First fall win. 4.33 of the time. Okay, we're going to take time out. We're going to be back with more action coming up in just a moment. promising us, wait till that second fall, we'll get to him. We're gonna find out right now, is they're off and running. It's the Nightmare starting against Johnny Wilhoyt. Wilhoyt got the pin on the Nightmare to win the first fall for the team of the new generation of Jerry Lawler. This is Mark Batten, the other member of the new generation in there. Nightmare got around behind him, picked him up in the air and knee dropped him. Nightmare with the forearm. Look out, they got Batten over close to their corner now. That was his strategy in the first fall, and it worked pretty well for, uh, I don't know, three, three and a half minutes before finally Johnny Wilhoyt was able to get over and tag Lawler. And from that point, uh, the team of the new generation and Lawler won it rather handily, rather quickly. 
Norvell Austin, upper arm as Mark Batten's coming off the ropes. Whoa, what a drop kick. Oh, Norvell stretched out halfway across the ring. I saw yeah, it, Norvell. Norvell. Looks pretty was good. Quite a drop kick. Choking him, digging his fingers into the throat. That's a nightmare. Going after Mark Batten. Ooh, right fist. Tag made Coco Weir coming in, huh? Rock kick by Coco. Worked for Norvell, it worked for Coco. Coco sits down on it. Batten over close to the corner. Can he get a tag? No, Coco rolls it back away from the corner before he picked him up. Mark Batten stays in there on the ropes. Coco followed with the upper arm. Norvell drops on it. BYT Express double teaming. Do they tag? I don't think so. But Coco stays in there nonetheless. There's a tag. This will be the nightmare coming in. Did you see Norvell cut him off? Stop Mark Batten from heading for the corner and get the tag. Yep. Second fall, and by golly, they are at it. We've got three minutes to go in our expiration of time. As it looks like the PYT is making Coco's prediction of what they were going to do to him in the second fall. Come through. They have been working over Mark Batten. Coco with that chair slams him in the midsection while the referee's over trying to keep Lawler and Wilhoit from breaking into the ring. Look at the nightmare standing on Mark Batten. They are really triple demon day. Dave. They, uh, one guy distracts the referee, the other two get on him, and it just goes in rotation. Batten doesn't have a chance in between these guys. Look, Coco pulls him out, slams his head down on the chair at ringside. Batten on the deck and hard. They get a little help from a friend. Ooh. Yeah, all over that chair, same chair in his hand. And he kind of moved things out of there. Look at Coco. And there comes Lawler going after him. Referee spins him around to get him out. Norvell comes down on Mark Batten. I guess it's immaterial, but I didn't see a tag there either. No. There's a tag. Coco will be coming in. Mark Batten has been in there all the way in the second fall. Uh, they were able to keep Johnny Wilhoyt in there most of the time in fall number one, but uh, new generation of Wilhoyt, Batten, and uh, also Jerry Lawler over in their corner uh, teamed up to get the win in the first fall. That's where we stand. Time winding down here in our expiration of time. Mark Batten needing the tag. We, we have a minute left, a little less than a minute. Batten reaching for the tag, but missed it by inches. Both Will Hoyt and Lawler waiting there for the tag, and neither of them could just Our time reaching. running out, less than a minute. Nightmare in. Ooh. Batten has been pounded real good in this second ball. There's a whip. Underneath. That's one he gets the tag. Here comes Lawler. He did it in the first ball. Can he do it again? PYT heads together. Nightmare knocked to the mat. Lawler calling for help. New generation steps in. Time winding down. We got a free for all going in the ring. And on the floor. Look out. Lawler picking up the chair. He's looking for Coco. He found him. In the ring, new generation double drop kick Norvell Austin. And time. Just about gone. All on the floor. Time has expired, but the action continues. It's on the floor. The ring is empty. Look out. Mark Batten over there. All over. Norvell Nightmare hit the floor hard. Lawler got Field. Coco across the floor. 
And the Nightmare trying to get out of the way, and our time is up. Yeah, we're out of time. Till next week, Dave Brown, Lance Russell saying bye-bye, everybody. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of championship wrestling.